a Kenosha soldier, is finally getting the burial he deserves. Yeah, he was a prisoner of war in Vietnam and died of his wounds in captivity. Yona Gavino shares his story. On this Veterans Day weekend, a homecoming that took nearly 50 years. A large crowd has already gathered behind me to honor this hometown hero. Staff Sergeant James Van Bendigam is finally home. Over 100 people lined the streets watching a solemn motorcade of Patriot Guard riders. Just something we never thought this would ever happen. Never thought they'd ever find their remains. This is something. As the flag draped casket was carried into the funeral home, old classmates served as pallbearers. Vietnam veterans Rich Boker and Bill Bredick went to high school with Van Bendigam in the late 60s. Jim would have graduated in 67, but he quit and wanted to go in the Army. Van Bendigam died a prisoner of war during Vietnam, and after 47 years, he's finally home. His family got the closure they'd waited for for so long. One more solemn farewell, a soldier's memorial, complete with a helmet, boots, and even dog tags, much like the ones he wore. In Kenosha, Yona Govino, today's TMJ4. It's glad to see he's finally home. Yes.